Today's video is all about sponge cake cupcakes topped with fresh fruit. But before I get started, I want to mention this is technically a part three video. To get the recipe on the sponge cake, you need to visit the original videos. I'll post the link up above and also link the recipe and video down below as well. First of all, we want to take our batter using an ice cream scoop. You want to fill up uh, your muffin, I'm sorry, your cupcake liners. These should be ungreased. Fill it up about three quarters of the way full. This is a pretty easy, simple video, but a lot of you guys have always asked me literally for the past two years to make a cupcake tutorial. So here it is. Your batter should be kind of really nice, creamy, off-white. And you should bake these at 350 degrees for about 15 minutes or until it's light, light golden brown just like this. And then what you want to do is you have to really quickly flip them upside down as soon as they come out of the oven. If you don't do this fast enough, then they will deflate. You want to flip these faster than you flip your girlfriends. Yeah, that was inappropriate, but I'm going to go with it. So anyways, I'm going to show you guys what kind of toppings I like to use. I like to use pre-made non-dairy whipped toppings. This one's chocolate. You just remove the bottom portion here and inside they have a star tip ready for you. And this is the original version as well. If you don't have these, you can make your own whipped topping too. So what you want to do is here is what they should look like. They have not deflated. They are just perfect. Now what you can also use instead is a Wilton 1M tip to get your basic swirl as well. Pipe a center dot, work your way around counterclockwise, and then top off. Another version that you can also do is take out some of the uh, cake in the middle, and that way you can fill it with any fillings. You can use strawberry jam. You can fill it with a couple of fresh, small, mini stra or chopped strawberries. Or you can do what I'm doing here and just pipe more whipped cream into the center and then work your way out and do your swirl that way as well. And here I'm just doing the same thing except I'm using a chocolate whipped topping. If you don't have whipped topping, you can use really anything that you wish or anything that you have lying around too. So now what's all that's left is just decorate as you please. Lots of tons of fresh fruit. And uh, what I'm also going to do is top the fresh fruit with some apricot jelly. This is apricot jelly mixed with a little bit of water and then I microwave until it gets really hot. Then I let it cool down a little bit. That'll give me a nice glossy syrupy coating for the fruit. And remember to pick up the recipe for my vanilla sponge cake at my blog. I will post the link down below, so make sure that you guys check that out. Now I'm just lining up these cuties. Make sure that you serve these immediately. And here is just a chocolate version. Same thing, nothing new. I hope you guys really enjoy the video. It's very quick, very simple, but you guys asked for it, so I gotta give you what you want. I hope you guys have a good one. Bye!